So I'm in a different room in the um, red brick building where my studio is today, um, just for a little bit of a change of scene. And um, I've brought my journals in to show you. Um, I found a few more bits and bobs that I wanted to um, glue in and work with. So I'll show you that. And I've also had a couple of questions about which certain journals, um, which ones they were. So I think it was this one and also the um, big black one. So I'll share that with you. Um, and a couple of other little snippets of news and Wendy Waffle, I suppose. I've woken up this morning and I am really grumpy. So I don't know how this video is going to go. Um, hopefully I won't be too grumpy in the video, but I've never actually recorded a vlog before feeling quite this grumpy. So you're probably wondering why I'm grumpy. And I, and I just think it's a whole, the whole situation that's just got very tiresome, shall we say. Um, and I feel really bad saying that because I'm really, really lucky in um, my situation. I've got everything I need. Um, so I feel really, really bad moaning about it. But at the same time, I'm really fed up with it. Um, and I think that a lot of people are feeling the same. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much why I'm grumpy. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. Anyway, hopefully the process of working in my journal is gonna help sort me out. Um, and I've pulled out a few things from an old journal to help me. And one of the things I pulled out was um, a gratitude page. Um, so we've talked about this a lot where we do gratitude journaling. And I thought I might actually stick that in my book and finish it because obviously I never actually finished the sheet. So I think that might help me out this morning. It's going to be a big test, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wendy's always going on about how brilliant journaling, journaling is. So let's see if I can shift my mindset and shift my mood into a, into a better place this morning. Uh, what else to say? Yes, yeah, so the, going back to the journals then, this journal, uh, quite a few people asked me what it was. Um, and I believe my sister bought me this, so I didn't actually buy it. But it says Ryman on the little silver thing here. So it's made by Ryman, so that's R-Y-M-A-N, and I'll try and find a link and link it in the description box. Um, but as you can see, this is quite a large A4 size, and it's nice and bendy, um, so it was a nice journal to work in um, while I was traveling, really, because it gave me a bit more space to play with. And then this one is a bit smaller, so just bigger than A5, I would say. So it's lined and it's kind of creamy paper, so it's off-white, which I really like. So it's a bit kind of vintagey, which is um, really up my street. And I got it from a shop in the UK called WH Smith's, so a really uh, common, popular stationery shop. And it's made by Moderno. Moderno? I think it's Moderno. So I'll try and link this below. I don't know if it's available internationally or not. Um, I'll look that up later and uh, hopefully find a link to put down there for you. What else to report? Mm. So I found a few bits and bobs that I want to use in my journal. Um, and I've torn pages out of old, of old journals so that I can use things again. Um, and I'm going to stick some pages in. I really like this page as well. And with some more quotes. Um, I like this one. You don't have to feel okay all the time. It's a message for me in that. You don't have to be free from all resistance all of the time. You are bigger than that. Unlimited, in fact. There is no all the time for you. You are the space for the okay and the not okay, the acceptance and the resistance. You don't need any fixed and unchangeable image of yourself. You don't need to be the enlightened guru or the spiritual warrior. You don't need to be the peaceful one, the awakened one, the strong one, the highly evolved one, the one immune to suffering, all are false limitations on your limitless nature. Simply be what you are, not this or that, but the one. The space for all, all of it. And that's from 365 Mantras for Today, the book of human angels. A loving guide for your everyday life. So that's really lovely. And then this little quote here, you see I said I was going to be sticking more quotes in. Accept yourself, flaws, quirks, talents, secret thoughts, all of it, and experience true liberation. Create your best life with your consciously chosen thoughts, words, and actions. And that's a quote by Amy Lee 
McCree. So I've got some good quotes here. I've even found a quote that I'm not sure I believe in anymore. Um, this one. It's a Banksy quote. If you get tired, learn to rest, not quit. But sometimes I think it's good to know when to quit. And uh, I've experienced um, that when I've needed to quit and change course on something. So I believe that to be true 50% of the time. But I also believe that we sometimes do need to quit. But I definitely believe in the rest part. And I'll do one more quote because it's a really good one and it's definitely going in my journal. Maybe you'll want it for yours as well. It's a Brené Brown and it says, if we own the story, then we can write the ending. So that's what we're doing in our journals. We're writing our story, rewriting it if necessary and writing our own endings, next chapters, next adventures, etc. So yeah, this is lovely. This is going in my book. And I've also done myself, uh, I've talked about this quite a few times, where I do a declaration and I stick it in the front. So I'm going to be sticking this in. You'll see, I'll, I'll show you my desk in a minute and um, we'll get journaling. This is my journal. I give myself absolute permission to express my own unique heart and soul in whatever way I choose to. No judgment lives here. Just complete love and acceptance unconditionally for myself. A safe place just for me so and feel free to write that as your declaration at your in your book as well or write your own obviously um, but yeah I love doing that um, it just reminds me that I can write what I like um, and I've had a few comments from people saying oh I'm scared to write in my journal because um, somebody might read it somebody might find it somebody might you know see it um, and sometimes you want to write things down that you don't want anyone else to ever read so I appreciate that. Um, however, I think it's really important to get those things out for myself anyway. Um, so I like to put it all in there. And then I can paint over it or tear the pages out and burn them or something like that um, or collage over it. So there are ways of getting it out and allowing the emotions to move through you um, with pen on the page. But at the same time, I do appreciate that it does feel vulnerable and scary. Not only if someone else read it, but also just putting it down there as in physical form. So I do get it. Um, try to be brave. And you can always write in code. So you can have like a mental code for something, um, change a few words. And, and if, if somebody picked it up then, they wouldn't know what you were talking about. So sometimes that helps as well, writing in code. I remember as a little girl, I used to play a lot of um, I Spy kind of games with my sister. And yeah, the code thing was fantastic. So yeah, going back to some of the things we did as children can really help us um, get things out and let go of things. So, and if you've got any ideas as well of how to get over that kind of fear of writing things down, scary things down on the page, um, then put them in the comments below. Let's share ideas on that one because it does come up a lot when journaling. I had an email from a lady from a Dutch magazine the other day and she was doing an article on journaling and she'd stumbled across um, some of my YouTube videos on, on art journaling and journaling. So she wanted to use some of the things I'd said in my video in the journal, which is a huge compliment and I'm, you know, I'm very honoured that she wanted to. So um, at the bottom of the email she said to me, what's your top tip to get the most healing out of journaling? Um, and I had two tips. The first tip was to be as honest as you can and tell the truth in your journal. And the second tip was to try and do it on a regular basis. So honesty is a really key part of the healing process um, in relation to journaling. So if we can't write down things in an honest way, um, we're not going to get as much out of it as if we did, in my opinion. So, but again, you know, you journal how you're comfortable and whatever works for you. Um, I'm not trying to dictate any rules on anybody. I'm just sharing how I do it and what my own personal opinions after doing it for a long time um, are. This is actually the room I used to run art class in. So it's really, really nice being in here for a little while. I've just sneaked in here because nobody's about. So, and it's really early and it's raining and we've got fairy lights and a lovely umbrella tree. So lucky me, I'm just going through some of the things I dug out and Oh yeah, I found this card as well, which I've had for ages, which I really, really love. And it says, make your life come true. 
So we've all heard the phrase, I hope your dreams come true, but make your life come true. Um, yeah, I love that. And she's got a magic wand with a key on the end. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, love that. So I did do some writing in my journal. Um, and then that page as well. So started writing the love letter to myself. And I've got a few more loose items um, to use up as well. So I might be using those today. And also I'm really excited because my um, stock came yesterday. So I ordered a load of stock for my shop, some cards, uh, restocking cards, and also two new cards, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I also have been designing some stickers. Um, and there's one in my shop at the moment, which was my sample. I sent off one of the designs just to see what it would look like. Um, and I've done four other ones as well. So I've done this little one. It's the Soul Sisters. And then I've got Delphine, the mermaid. I did her as an oval rather than a round because for obvious reasons, she's very oval. And then I've got Wedding of the Fairy King and Rosa Magdalena. So I really like how they've come out um, and I will be doing a photo shoot um, and putting them in the shop really soon. Um, but yeah, a bit excited. So I thought, oh, I can use those in my journal. My longer term plan is to actually design my own journals um, and whether I have um, a journal with my artwork on it, I think that would be the next stage. Um, but I really, in the longer, longer term, would like to be designing the ones with the nice paper, different types of paper and torn edges and a really yummy journal that's just, you know, you could use it for anything. So that's sort of a plan of mine. But I thought for now I could have um, journals where I can just put a sticker on. Um, and then, yeah, stickers are great because you can put them anywhere, can't you? But I thought it'd be quite nice to have them on the front. Um, but anyway, that's my exciting news. And a couple of my new cards. So I've done, done that one, Soul Sisters, as a card as well. And I really like how she's turned out too. Um, and then on the back, done my little design on the back. James does a little um, design for me because he's really good at design and Photoshop and things like that. And, mm -hmm. and he always puts a little picture of what's on the front and then the title and obviously my name and then a bit of blub 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 at the bottom. I didn't just want to have writing on the back, um, just wanted to make it a little bit more special and then it's completely blank inside. Yeah, and then I also did Delphine as well. So I've got Delphine as a sticker as well. And yeah, they've done a really nice job. Um, nothing's in the shop yet. Today is Wednesday. So it may not be in the shop when this video goes up. I'm not sure, but it will be coming soon. Um, and I will let you know when it's in the shop, obviously, especially if you are following me on my Instagram, especially the Instagram stories. I always keep that really up to date. So have I got anything else to tell you then? Um, I'm just going to have a look here. I made a little list. Going back to the whole grumpy thing as well. I have been awake since 4.24 this morning. And I did try to get back to sleep and I did a meditation and breathing and things like that. So I did try and relax and try to get off to sleep, um, but I couldn't get back to sleep. And that's really now affecting my mood and also um, the burnout thing. So I'm really feeling the burnout thing brewing. So I'm thinking I might go home earlier today and have a bit of a rest. I've got to drop my car off because it's having its MOT. And then I think James will probably take me home. Yeah, I might do that. Also, I must say that the comments I've had in the past couple of weeks and messages um, have literally made me cry, some of them. They're just so beautiful. And I just wanted to say thank you so, so much. Um, people reaching out and really sharing their hearts um, and supporting each other as well. Um, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. I'm, I'm so touched and so moved. And yeah, literally brought me to tears a couple of times last week. Um, so thank you so much for that. And I know many of us are feeling quite up and down and the downs are quite low. Um, and some people are feeling really on their own, um, but you're not alone, you're not alone. And um, yeah, even if we're having sleepless nights, one of the things that never sleeps is the internet. And I think um, in a lot of ways, the internet can really help support us so that we don't feel so alone. Um, 
And one of the ways that I'm doing that is obviously with this YouTube channel. So I'm so grateful to, to have a YouTube channel and I'm so grateful to have all of you um, communi to communicate with as well. So yeah, feeling back into gratitude already um, and less grumpy just to actually just have this little chat with you. So thank you. So the other thing that might lift our spirits is I'm going to do another giveaway. So I've decided when we get to 25,000 subscribers, I'll do another giveaway. And again, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. And that's because I haven't decided. So I'll be honest, I haven't decided what it is yet, but I'll give away something. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to draw the names out of a literal hat this time. I've had a few messages of people commenting with ideas of how you could actually do it without printing all the names, cutting them off out and putting them in an actual hat because that took hours and I don't think I could do that again. Um, and there might be even more this time because there's more of us. So, but I just thought I'd let you know, we'll have another giveaway at 25,000. Um, and the other thing that I have been doing some research on this week is more eco-friendly packaging. So I've bought some cardboard um, flat pack things. So obviously cardboard is good because that composts down um, and it's obviously plastic free. I also acquired some plastic free tape. So I do still have my plastic tape, so I'm going to use what I've got. Um, and then I'm moving 100% to um, plastic free tape. I really like it. It works really well. The other thing is my uh, cello bags for my cards. So what I've been doing with that is I'm using old stock um, and I couldn't find the compostable ones with the uh, right size for my cards. So I am still looking around for the right thing for that. And I do want them to be waterproof, especially when I'm sending the cards, you know, to Australia, New Zealand, America, Japan. Um, I want them to arrive in, you know, tip top condition. So for my UK orders, I might be using something else that I've been looking into. So I'll, I'll share that with you more when I've uh, worked out what I'm going to do about that. Um, but the other thing I've been doing is instead of putting um, one card in one cello bag, if somebody orders three or four cards, for example, and some stickers, I've been putting it all in one cello bag. So that's working quite well. So then it's just less plastic. Um, and the other thing that I could actually ask you guys about, if you've got any ideas on, is um, a more eco-friendly bubble wrap situation. So when I send off the little canvas squares that I make, um, I box them up and I wrap them really carefully in lots and lots of bubble wrap. Um, but obviously that's not plastic free. So I need an alternative, a more greener alternative for that as well. But I'm a work in progress like we all are and I'm not 100% perfect yet. So if you do get an order from me um, and it's not 100% plastic free and eco and recycled, then please bear with me. I am working on that. So even though the weather is grey and pouring with rain, um, I'm feeling a lot brighter and a lot better um, than I was before. So thank you for that. Thank you for listening, keeping me company as usual. I'll show you around this room as well because it's a really, really nice room. Hang on a sec. So this room is so lovely. Again, it's got the lovely beams and skylights. And they do yoga in here. And we used to have art class. I'd set all the tables up and we'd have a lovely big table right in the middle, like a big dining table with all our art stuff everywhere. It was absolutely brilliant. I loved it. And then you can see the little corner. I've just been sat on the floor chatting to you. And it's um, the same view out the window as my studio. That's the building of uh, Building C. And then my studio is literally just behind that wall. Um, so that's the other side. Yeah. Right, let's get journaling then, otherwise I'm going to start waffling. Love is 
little flick through my book to see what it looks like so far. My pages aren't finished. I will be adding other things and um, sticking other things in later on. I like to work like that so I can add things to a page and then flick back and forwards and add something to another page and in that way I don't feel under pressure to get the page finished and all done. I knew a wise woman and she said to me that the river would mould me and the wild wind would cool me and that the trickster, the coyote, would fool me and that father sun would warm me, mother earth would clothe me Grandmother Moon would greet me, and of the old ways she would teach me, wise woman, she told me, to always walk lightly, tread the earth ever gently, lovingly, so preciously, and take from her sparingly. She said to share with others what you have learned from me, be still and breathe ever patiently, for the web of life has woven what is to be, but you must still choose your own path, and you will see. And lastly, the wise woman said to me to listen to the wise one that dwells within me, to walk my path in balance, is to be free, more than just words, so mote it be, author unknown.